Hi everybody, good to have you with us on this uh, Thursday night for another edition of Three Point Play and we've got a new look panel for the start of the show tonight and on my right we welcome you back in the starting five tonight and it is two, Nigel, how are you? Yeah, good thanks mate, I had a good uh, weekend of basketball and the Tigers won and uh, I just feel like I'm moving down the order here and I'll be out the door soon. Now, oh, just, well at least you know what's happening, that's the main <laughs> thing, it doesn't have behind your back. Sure, how do you feel on the other end? Oh, terrific. Well, oh, further away from Nigel, better. <laughs> Good to have you on the program. It's got something to do with body odour, is that right? Definitely. That's what it is. Definitely. Oh, mate, I'm happy to be away from you too. We've got a couple of special guests. That's why we have them on either end, because they feud a lot, you see. Peter Court joins us, uh, the coach of the uh, Australian women's wheelchair basketball team and the bronze medalist from the recent World Championships. Welcome, Pete. Yes, four weeks ago tonight, actually. It is too, so, uh, on this Thursday. Bronze medalists and uh, looking forward to Sydney 2000. Well, good to have you on the panel and we'll uh, be picking your brains along the way too as well because you're... Uh um, well, your background is very much entrenched with basketball, not only so much with uh, women's basketball. And it's nice to have a pretty face for a change, and that's why you're down that other end there, <laughs> Nigel. Kate, welcome. Kate Hagan from the, and I'll get it right, the Bulleen Melbourne Barilla Boomers. Yeah, that's correct. Um, new Look Boomers, new sponsor. New Barilla? pasta, pasta sponsor. Are they? Yeah, number one selling pasta in Italy. Yeah, oh, really happy and we'll going forward. along well. We'll look forward to that, because I dare say probably if we keep saying that all night, There'll be stuff flying in. Barilla, Barilla for sale. We'll see what we can do. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Kate. Welcome along. And you can chip in with anything you like. And we'll be talking to you about the WNBL a little bit later on. Thank All right. Let's move it right along. Finally, uh, the Sydney Flames 64 defeating the Canberra Capitals 52. Let's have a look at the WNBL ladder here. And uh, as we see here, the AIS 6 and 2, the Breakers 6 and 3. But of course, uh, finally, a road win against the Lightning. Yeah. So yeah, the, the Breakers have finally got one a game on the road. One and three they are. All one right. five at home. Okay, six and two, six and three. They're uh, sitting on top of the WNBL ladder at the moment. We'll get Tigers have made their four very as well there, Rob. Right? You see, Tigers are four oh, and four. Yeah, I was trying to get through quickly along. so we didn't have to come back to Struggling that. along. <laughs> You've had your 50 cents worth tonight. <laughs> Very special guest sitting right beside me here, Peter Cole. We're going to come back after this break and we're going to talk to him about the success his side's had, of course, winning the bronze medal in the World Championships. 